What is up guys, Matt back again. Um, so I said I would do one of these videos, so I'm going to be ranking, in my personal opinion, the tier list of the Quality Street chocolates. Now, in, a pre in my last video I did, I think, it was about how equal the Quality Street chocolates were in a little box. And they were pretty even evenly ratioed to be fair um and i may i you know i did get around to trying all the chocolates the, the quality street do over here in the uk anyway um so today i'm going to be ranking them on you know my personal thoughts um and then obviously in other videos i'll be doing the roses the heroes celebrations you know etc etc so I'm just going to say straight away that I think Quality Street are probably my least favourite out of all four tubs to be honest Def I mean they definitely did they definitely didn't impress me um, I think that's probably why when I because in the last video I said that we got a free box of we got a free little box with our shopping and the choices were celebrations or quality street and we all, I, I chose celebrations but they gave us quality street I'm guessing that's because all the celebrations already had already been um, picked so there you go now I'm not sure if I'm going to use all the tiers or not because I could I suppose I could just use all tiers and go god tiers my favourite awful is my least favourite or I could do it where literally my personal thoughts whether it is worthy of being put in the highest tier or whether it is bad enough to go in the bottom tier um, not entirely sure I think, I'm, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go with not necessarily using all the tiers up so if I don't think there's anything worth going in the god tier, nothing's going to go in the god tier, etc, etc. So, the first one that we've got here is the Caramel Swirl. You know, I do like Caramel. You know, uh, Caramel is definitely one of those things that I really like. Um, and this is literally just, it's just a bit of Caramel, you know, in, wrapped in chocolate. You know, pretty standard. But, you know, standard is good when you actually like it. You know, it's simple, but it's nice. And it's it's one of those ones that I can't imagine there's many people that don't actually like it. There's def you know, I can't imagine there's anyone that doesn't like it. But also can't imagine there's people, you know, most people probably like it. Most people, that's not one that's going to be left in the tin. Um, so for that reason, I think, should it? I think honestly, I think it it deserves to go in very good. I think I think that's about right. It's not quite. It's not really like wow enough to go in like the top two, but it's not. It's definitely not like it doesn't belong in the lower ones. It's probably about high. It's probably about a high mid tier. Right, the next one, the toffee penny. Oh dear, this is when things, you know, we've had one very good one. Um, I've just, I've got to be honest, it's awful. In my box, I only got one. It was the only chocolate out of all of them that you only, uh, that I only got one of. And thank, thank fuck for that because it was. It's terrible. Toffee pennies. It's not even. It's not nice for starters. It's hard. I would argue that when it comes to these chocolate tins, there shouldn't be anything ridiculously hard in there. You know, you should be able to easily bite on them. You shouldn't have to fucking literally nearly just risk your teeth over them. So it's just terrible, to be honest with you. 
Now this next one's another. This next one is another one that. This one's probably going to be quite controversial for some people out there. So it's the orange creme. And I sort of. I wasn't too sure about this one. I, I but before I tried it, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it. But I've got to be brutally honest. Terrible. Couldn't even finish it. I ate about half of it, and the other half I was like, "Nah, you're right. Not, not nice. Didn't like it." Um, and it's not that I don't like orange flavored stuff because I do. You know, I like Terry's chocolate orange. I like orange club biscuits. I like orange penguin. You know, I like Fanta orange stuff like that. But that orange creme, I really didn't like it, to be honest with you. I did not like it. Um, definitely one that I wouldn't have again. Same with the Toffee Penny. If I bought my if I bought a tub for myself and no one else liked those, they would be they'd be binned, frankly. I wouldn't I wouldn't even bother eating them. Ah, now the next one is this is probably one of the most, this is probably the most divisive chocolate in the quality street, in the quality street tin, the green triangle. Um, you know, it's one of those ones where people either like them or they won't eat them. It's basically, it's it's that divisive. It is a it is a marmite situation. Love it, or hate it. Um, I'm gonna be honest. God to you. Actually, is it God to you? Hmm. I think it's excellent. It's not quite God to you, but it is really nice. I would. I think it's in my top I would say it's in my top three favourite quality street. Yeah, it's definitely definitely in top three. Um so it's hazelnut praline is it I think it's called. So it has got nuts in it, so if you're allergic to hazelnuts you can't have it. Um you know, you gotta be oh, that that's the thing, I'm quite lucky. Um to my knowledge I'm not allergic to any nuts. So I could eat I could eat all these chocolates without having to worry about literally possibly dying from eating one but having said that just because I'm not allergic to nuts doesn't mean that I like them um, so remember remember me saying that because you know it might affect where this stuff goes on the list so the next one toffee, toffee finger <sighs> Why is there two toffee ones in Quality Street, and they're I, they're basically identical. They're both really hard. What is the point? What is the point in them? To be honest, um, it it I just don't I just don't get it. I really don't. Um, I think it's in poor. Now, the reason that it's not in awful, along with the toffee penny, is that it at least has chocolate around it. The toffee penny doesn't have chocolate around it, so it's the only. It's also the only um, one in quality street that doesn't have chocolate in it, which is weird. Um, but the toffee finger actually does have chocolate. It's covered in chocolate, so that's the reason that it's not in the awful tin. But having said that, it's pretty much just as hard as the toffee penny. So, you know, I, it's another one of those ones where if someone else doesn't eat it, it's going in the bin, to be honest. Ah, now the next one. Now... I thought the orange creme was awful, 
and I did I did not like it whatsoever but the orange the choc I think it's the chocolate orange crunch is it I think it's called um I think I said in my last video that I thought this was going to taste like an orange club biscuit basically did I was pretty much spot on there it basically is an orange chocolate club biscuit or um yeah it's, it's it probably basically is um but having said that I'd much rather just have a orange chocolate club biscuit um I think it's meh. I'd eat them. I, I'd eat them out of the tub. But if it wasn't my tub and I was offered, you know, if, if I was offered like a handful or a couple, I would not be, they would not be one of the ones I'd go for. Um, definitely not. So the next one is fudge. Now I actually quite like fudge. Um, I like the Cadbury's fudge that they do. I've never had like blocks of fudge, but I imagine it tastes identical. Um, fudge is seen as an old person's thing, but I think it's quite nice. So you know I can understand why they like it. To be honest with you, where would I put it? I think it's. Honestly, I think it's very good. I, I really do like fudge. Um, you know, if it's probably one of the ones that I I'd probably pick if I had if I had if I had a choice, I'd probably I'd probably pick. You know, I'd have a fudge. Um, right, strawberry delight. Now, this is a weird one because before I actually I couldn't remember the taste of it. And then I tried one, you know, like a day ago. Um, I was a bit let down by it because I thought this was prob I thought this was possibly going to be my favourite one in the quality street. Um, and spoiler alert, it's not my favourite. Um, I can't quite remember the taste of the strawberry dreaming roses. But whatever this strawberry delight is, it's definitely not as nice as the roses, as the roses strawberry chocolate. I think that's why I felt a bit let down by it. Um, where would I put it? I would probably put it in meh. To be honest with you, I was I felt very let down by it. I thought it was going to be up here in the, I thought it was going to be in the very good range, but. Realistically, I think it was a bit meh. It's another one. Of, it's another one of those ones where if there was only that left, I'd probably have one. But um, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be particularly overjoyed by them being left over for me to have. Now this is arguably the most famous one. It's the purple one. This pretty much normally gets voted as the massive favourite in the entire out of apparently like at nationwide this is everyone's favourite. Um purple one is hazelnut and caramel, obviously wrapped in chocolate. So caramel again, obviously I like caramel. And hazelnuts, well I'm not allergic to them so at least I'm not gonna die from eating one. But as I said earlier, just because I'm not allergic to nuts doesn't mean I necessarily like them. Although I do like a Snickers bar. But I wasn't... I didn't see what the fuss was about when I had it, I'll be honest with you. Um, maybe I'm being a little bit mean. Maybe I'm being a little bit overcritical of it. Um, but it's just one of those things where... Obviously, if you're allergic to nuts, you can't eat it. If you're not a massive fan of nut cho chocolate, um, chocolate with nuts in it, it, you know the caramel does sort of compensate a little bit for it, but not massively. <sighs> Where would I rank it? Most people would be putting it up here, or at the very least, in excellent. I think it's just good. You know, it's 
it was nice. You know, I I would eat I'd eat one. Um, you know, if someone offered me one, or if they were all that was left, I'd happily have one or two. But I'm not one of those people. I wouldn't like start a fight over the last purple one. You know, if you like it more, have it fine. I don't care. Coconut eclair. Now, this was one that I was very interested to try again because I couldn't even remember if I liked coconut or not. Now, that sounds weird to say, but I genuinely can't remember the last time I had something with coconut in it. Um, nice biscuits or nice biscuits in the UK, coconut taste, and I really I quite like those biscuits. So I thought, wow, coconut clear, I'm going to love this. Because I can't remember what a bounty tastes like either, so I couldn't like sort of. I can't compare between a bounty and a coconut eclair because I haven't tried a bounty in well, I can't remember how long. Um, but I tried it, and I wasn't a particular fan of it. I didn't eat. I didn't eat the whole chocolate. I had about half of it, and I was like, "Now nah, you're right." So I'm going to put it in pour because it's not it's not as bad as these, but I would I don't think I'd have another one. So that's why I'm putting it in pour. Obviously, if you're a massive fan of coconut, I'm sure you you most people would probably put it up in at least the good. If you like coconut, there's probably some f weirdos out there that. It's their favourite one in they put it in God tier, but I don't know what to say about that. So this next one is actually the newest addition to Quality Street. I think it, it's only been in the tub two years now, might be three. Um it's the chocolate brownie one. Um I like brownie, I like chocolate. I can't remember if there's what else? I think it's just chocolate I think it's just brownie. There might be something, there might be like fudge in there or caramel in there as well. I can't remember now. I haven't got it, I haven't got it to hand, but it's the brownie one. Um, it was nice, but I thought it was a bit too much, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm going to put it in good. Now this is pretty balanced. Um not intentional these are just my thoughts I thought th there seem, seems to be quite you know there seems to be quite a sort of a love indifferent hate thing going on but nothing in God tier um, I think that's why as I said earlier, I think Quality Street is definitely my least favourite. There's not a single chocolate in the Quality Street that I would really put on, you know, the pedestal of, oh, this is the, like, really top, nicest chocolate. There isn't one in Quality Street, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think, now that I've tried them all again, I probably wouldn't get Quality Street to be honest with you anyway I'm going to do the last one so it's milk chop block the most standard one in quality street but I think I said this earlier standard doesn't mean bad um, it it's good it's not it's not it's, 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 it's standard it's standard so it, it's not going to be getting up here but it's not bad. I mean, it's one of those ones that anybody would like, and it's obviously you don't like milk chocolate, but in that case, what the hell are you doing with a chocolate tin? It's liter it literally is just a block of chocolate. That's it. There's nothing special about it. It's just a block of chocolate. But it's good. You know, it's one of the ones that I probably would... It's, quite, it's, the, safe, it's, the, it's the safe bet. It's the safe bet. It's the one that you know you're going to like, or at least, you know, not hate. So, this is the list. It's, you know, we got a couple up here. These are prob these probably are my top three favourites. 
And then you got the ones down here, these four, these sort of five, six. I'd, I'd rather not, not eat. And then you got these three that I'm sort of, yeah, okay, I could, I could have one. Um, but yeah, quality street. I'm sad to say it's gonna be, it's gonna be a thumbs down from me to be honest. Quality street. As I said, I don't think I'm going to... Personal choice, I wouldn't be going, getting Quality Street in the future. Um, so that's at least one. That's one of the that's one of the four chocolate tins crossed off my list for the future. So the three left, you know. Um, next up, I'm probably going to do Roses because... Roses and Quality Street seem to seem to battle it out between each other. Um, they seem to have the two traditional tins. They're the oldest two tins, and then obviously we got Celebrations and Heroes, which are the more recent ones. Um, but yeah, guys. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Um, I actually quite like making tier lists, so um doing these actual tier list things I actually quite enjoy doing uh, as I said the next one is probably going to be for Cadbury's Roses um, predictions hmm I would say Roses are going to be doing I would say Roses might do slightly better than Quality Street but I would be quite surprised if they do a lot better but anyway as always guys, thank you for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video, so see you later guys.